Hi, this is Robert from Lucid Works. In today's Fusion Learner series, I'll be showing how to boost search results using click signals. I'll be giving a quick overview of signal boosting within Fusion, um, going over the actual JSON, uh, JSON syntax of the, of the signal, and quickly go over the aggregation sequence for uh, aggregating raw click signals. Here's a sequence of events in click boosting. Uh, we have a product index. A user searches the product index, uh, selects a product that, uh, um, that they are interested in, and they click. This click is registered uh, in a raw click signal collection. <clears throat> in a timely interval, uh, an aggregator job aggregates the click signals based on document ID. Um, the next time a user searches through, uh, through a query pipeline, it will go through uh, the stages six through seven, through a subquery, through the aggregation with the search term. Um, and then we will uh, boost the, the aggregations uh, that are found into the, uh, into the main query. So I encourage you to pause your video and, and and read through this diagram to follow the steps. A signal is, is composed of uh, a couple of elements. You can add or remove um, elements as you choose. Um, the type, uh, we, we assign a type, so it could be a click, or it could be a add to cart, um, and this is entirely up, up to the user to define. The, uh, the default is click. We add a couple of parameters. Uh, we, the most important one is a query. Here we have uh, a couple of clicks. Someone has searched for Aerosmith CD and Aerosmith album. Uh, and it looks like in two separate instances, uh, this user this has clicked on uh, the same document. Uh, since it's a click, um, we, we, can assign, we can assign different weights uh, to, to signals based on, based on their actions. So if it's just a simple um, click to a description page, we can give that a weight of one. If it's perhaps a click to, to add the cart or to save in favorites, we can uh, assign it a higher weight. Lastly, right, so here's a, an aggregation example. Um, we have our click signals to the left, our raw signals. We, we see the different searches and, and, the, and the ID associated. So this is the same ID. Um, we have T1, which, which is an aggregator job that runs um, and uh, aggregates the, uh, the search terms and the ID. So we have one single record, aggregated record, of album Aerosmith record. And at T2, um, you know, we collect more signals may run another job, and we have another uh, we have another record in our aggregation uh, collection uh, with the same document ID. <clears throat> when it comes time to injecting the injecting the uh, the signal the signals to the uh, to the end user query, uh, we use a roll up query stage, and this will um, further aggregate the, the results. Uh, so you always have a single, um, a single document ID represented uh, for this query. And now we'll start our demo. <clears throat> to begin, I want to uh, show you the, the Signals API. Um, <clears throat> By submitting submitting a post request to our signals and product data collection, we can submit a whole batch of signals. Here I have seven signals uh, that represent uh, different queries and two separate documents. So I'm going to go ahead and click send. Oops, send again. And uh, my documents, my signals should be added. Let's go ahead and 
go into Fusion. Mm -hmm. Here in Fusion, um, we can go into our product data collection. We can expand and actually take a look at our signals. Here we, we've indexed seven signals. So here we can see uh, the raw signals as they're indexed in, in our collection. We have the query, which is most important, the type, which is click. We have the, our document ID, and we've also assigned a weight. So some have a weight of one. Uh, other, other documents have a weight of five. And when we run our aggregation, these, uh, these weights will be summed, and, uh, and a, total, a total weight will be given uh, based for the document ID. So let's go ahead and create our aggregation. I have one already created. We can just take a look on how this is configured. We have, <coughs> we'd like to group our signals by document ID. Uh, the types of signals that we have in our collection, we're just, uh, uh, we're just indexing clicks. Important, we have an output pipeline. For the output pipeline, um, uh, we can assign a pipeline that's used for, for saving results after the aggregation. So if you want any additional logic, you can define uh, an aggregation pipeline. Right now, I'm just using the default, which is this phase to solar. Um, we will not be using uh, the roll-up pipeline or roll-up aggregator in this example, but if, if you need to, to perform additional logic during your aggregation, you can assign, uh, you can create your own pipeline and uh, an aggregator for um, further influencing the results. <clears throat> I have a, I define my output collection, which is um, signals aggregation. This is the default that's, uh, that's automatically created when you create your collection in Fusion. And here we have the statistics field. These fields are used uh, by default for, uh, um, for, 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 summing, um, for summing holes and, and, uh, and providing weights for the signals. So these are the defaults, which is the count. Um, I'm using weight. I'm going to go ahead and start my aggregation to, uh, to group the, um, our signals together. I have defined a move source, so once our aggregation job is complete, it will remove those raw signals from my collection so they will not be counted twice uh, for subsequent aggregations. Okay, so we have the second completed correctly. So let's go into our signals aggregations here. We can see that uh, we have zero signals, uh, but we have two aggregated documents. And these documents correspond uh, to the seven signals that were, uh, that were aggregated. So we have two products. Let's go ahead and take a look at the field. Here we can see the queries were aggregated, so we have a group of queries, query strings. We have our single doc ID. And we also have a weight. Here we, it's a double value, so we collected four clicks, each with a weight of one. So this total weight looks correct. We can, we can go ahead and create our query pipeline to, uh, to influence our search results based on signals. So let's go ahead and go into query pipeline. There's a, there's a couple of steps um, that are involved. Basically, there's, there's three, three, 
three separate steps. So here we have our, our pipeline. I have the steps already configured. These three steps represent the query, represent our signal boosting, which is first, the query for aggregation. So we're actually querying the aggregation collection um, to, to see if there's any matches based on the user query with that of uh, the saved uh, signal. So we want our results uh, of our subquery uh, in, in, the, in this environment variable called subquery results. Uh, we're going to be sub we're going to issue a query to our signals aggregation. Um, we're going to use a standard um, silver select request handler uh, and an HTTP get. It's important to note here query params from the parent query. So from our from the original user query, um, we're going to we're going to get we're going to take the Q parameter, uh, which is the uh, original query parameter from the uh, original query and, and use that uh, to query our aggregations collection. And I've included uh, a couple other solar parameters I think is, it will be helpful. Uh, we have a min match of 100 percent. So I want, um, I, want their, I want the user's search term to match 100 percent the, uh, the aggregation search term. I also select uh, the fields I want included in, in the results. So I have ID, doc ID, aggregation count, and weight, query, and timestamp. Uh, the query field that I want to query against in my aggregations collection is uh, query underscore T. And now I'm going to go ahead and sort, um, sort based on uh, based on score, and most importantly, weight. So in my simple um, aggregations collections, every, everyone has a score of one. This will change depending on um, uh, the actual solar score that, uh, that can be passed when aggregating, um, aggregating signals. So if there's a really strong match, uh, the score will be um, will be higher, and that can be reflected um, when doing the aggregations query. Next, I have my world aggregator. So, in, in this case, um, if I have separate aggregations running, there might be uh, duplicate documents um, in my aggregations collection. So, I want to actually roll those up uh, into into a single record. So I'm grouping, uh, I'm grouping all results from my, um, my previous query to my aggregations by doc ID. And I'm assigning, um, I'm also grouping the weights, so it's going to be a sum of the weight field. And then for this, I only want to return 10 results. Lastly, I want, to, I want to actually influence the original query uh, by boosting. So I'm going to take the results from my subquery aggregation. I'm actually I'm going to boost on the um, on the product document ID. So any matches, it will boost uh, the original document by. Uh, by the weight field. And my boost method is going to be a query param, and I'm going to use a boost. Lastly, uh, we're going to query solar uh, and, and, and return the results to the user. Here I have LucyWorks View configured as my end user UI. I am searching across my product collection. For example, I'm going to search for Aerosmith. And here we see 
uh, the organic or order of the re our search results. Let's say, for example, users click on on these two on these two products. I'm going to go ahead and run my my aggregation again. I, I re-index the signals. Let's go ahead and, and run the aggregation. Okay, so we have our two documents that are aggregated. Let's go ahead and run our query. And here we have we see our <clears throat> our two click results uh, appear at the top of uh, our search results for Aerosmith. So well, that concludes my demo and presentation of boosting with click signals. Thank you very much for your time.